Hey guys, it's Troy here and we are back with another Mario Kart 8 Deluxe video. That is something I have not said in a hot minute. I have not made a video for this game in like three years. So here we are. And for those of you who saw the James Charles collab video from yesterday on his channel, we had a great time playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and it kind of motivated me to make this video, not gonna lie. I was like, wow, I kind of miss playing this game. It actually is really fun on 200cc and we're gonna be attempting some newer shortcuts later in the video that I've never even tried before. I actually am the first person on YouTube to ever upload a video of this cut back in 2014. Like, oh my gosh, like right when the DLC uh, dropped. Here we go, here's the shortcut. If I fail this, I will be forever shamed. Okay, we're good. Oh, that was close, that was close. Might as well get both the awesome F-Zero tracks out of the way at the beginning. And man, it's so crazy, because like Mario Kart 8, you know, when the DLC came out in 2015, I think it was, like it was it was really good the tracks were phenomenal like this one right here and then they never made more dlc for the game look at mario kart 8 deluxe the best selling game on the switch it's a remake of mario kart 8 and nintendo doesn't make any dlc for the game i'm convinced nintendo doesn't like money i'm not even kidding okay so this one we're, we're doing the ones we're familiar with at the beginning here we're gonna get these out of the way and then we're going to uh try some harder ones later so this was one i discovered day one Pretty much when uh, it came out on the Wii U and I was so stoked when I discovered this one and it's super useful also super useful shortcut okay let's see if we can get it here and it's not that bad on 200 CC nice perfect and now we have my favorite track Yoshi circuit this is the one I'm probably the best at in the game and I'm gonna show you how you could just do the waterfall shortcut which saves a boatload of time you can do it shroomless with zero coins watch this Boom! So good. So good. And then that's that's not even the end of it. You can also do this right here, Shroomless. And then you can cut the tire off as well and skip that corner. So this whole track is literally a shortcut. It is beautiful. And that is why it's my favorite track in the game. Also, if you have a mushroom, watch what you can do. You can do this and cut this gap and then just do this Shroomless right afterwards. So you don't even ever need to use a mushroom when you're doing the 200cc waterfall shortcut. And one more time for good measure, here we go. So satisfying. <laughs> the tires got in the way that time. And now we have Bowser's Castle, where we actually have multiple shortcuts we're gonna be showcasing. So this first one, one I'm very familiar with, you can actually cut this corner right here, Shroomless. And it's really elegant. I love how the anti-gravity kind of comes into play at the end there. And your vehicle shifts to the side. Really cool shortcut. This next one is actually kind of tough because you got to get lucky with the way that this thing... Oh, yeah, we can't do it right there because of the waviness of it. Let's see if we can get that. And there we go. <laughs> That's all I was trying to do. I had to go backwards to attempt that again. Bone Dry Dunes, an extremely tough course on 200cc, as you all know. And if you have a lot of coins, this one is even easier. But you can release your main turbo into the dirt, and right when you land, look at that, you cut the whole corner. Okay, this next one is on Ribbon Row. It's just like the last one. It's a really good off-road shortcut. Uh-oh. Oh, we can make this work. Okay, right here. See, couple hops and you're good to go. Whoa, so much speed, so much speed. That was crazy. And then obviously everybody knows at the end, you can uh, jump over to the ramp, which I failed miserably, but I never go for this on 200cc. It actually freaks me out. It's just really finicky. Nice. There we go, that was much better. Okay, <laughs> redeem myself. And just gotta make sure we don't fall off on the uh, lava platform section. It's actually much easier in this game with the glider. Ooh, somehow went right over the glider. 200cc is completely bonkers in this game. There's also a shortcut at the very end of the level. You can do Shroomless on lap three. We will be showcasing that one when we get there. But for now, let me show you guys this one. I have very little experience with this one, so I might fail it. Here we go. Yeah, okay, I'll try to get next lap. I gotta figure this one out. Let's try this one more time. Okay, <laughs> there we go. 
I am not very good at that one, as you can tell, because I had to slow down even after I made it, which was not worth it. And let's pretend like I didn't have this golden mushroom, okay? Let's pretend like I'm at the very end, I'm on the last corner. You can hop, and you don't even need to use the ramp, and you can cut the corner, and super easy on 200cc, not bad. For TikTok clock, sometimes the clock hand is not in your favor, and you need to use a mushroom. We just got one, which is great, and you use it right here, and you jump! And it is amazing, you, can, you skip that entire corner, which saves so much time. I had to get a mushroom for this one. So we have a mushroom, and it would be ideal if we had 10 coins. Looks like we have eight right now. We could probably get to 10 before. It's on the anti-gravity section, and I'd never even seen this one until like yesterday. So I've never attempted this one before, but it looks really cool and very risky. It's right here, and then you mushroom, Oh, I got it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I totally messed up the part after you, but you see you see what the shortcut is. Very, uh, very, very wild. I don't know if I'd ever do that online in a race, but it sure does look cool. This next one on GCN Sherbetland involves skipping the entire corner and then using the rest of the boost to clear it to the right side of the giant hole. And as you can see, it's really good because you're able to get that massive main turbo and skate over the majority of the ice and cut the corner extremely inside. The next couple shortcuts on this track are kind of variations of what you can already do on 150cc. You can cut this super inside, actually clip the wall there. So everyone knew the last shortcut, but this one right here is extremely useful. If you get a meter bow, pop, and you can practically skip the entire off-road altogether. Um, on 200 CC and you can even dive and hit the double item box after you get the single box You could spam it get two coins get a double box get more coins if you're in first So that one's really cool as well This next one is on GCM Mario and you can get a orange meter boat here Release it and cut the tires off altogether then follow it up by doing this off-road shortcut shroomless And now we have a mushroom so we're actually gonna go for the glider cut on this lap right here And I just did another small grass shortcut there to get an orange meter boat and then we're gonna follow it up by using our mushroom here between the trees and we are gliding ourselves to victory. Um, granted, totally messed up the ending, so we're gonna redo that one. Let's try that again. We're gonna be mushrooming here, going between the trees, which that part's very easy, and then we're gonna be landing on the rail and then sliding off of it, and oh, that was perfect. What's so cool about that is it leads into the other route, which allows you to get the item box. You know what I wish for this track? I wish you could use the mushroom here and skip that gap, but he grabs you. It bums me out so much. This would be such a cool gap shortcut right here. You'd probably want to extend the fence a little more. It'd be a little bit too broken to cut off like all of that, but the fence should like stop right here and you should be able to drift around the corner like right here and then mushroom. That would be the best. Okay, so for Mario Kart Stadium, there's like four shortcuts in this one lap. Shortcut number one, make sure you release your main turbo right as you hit the grass. Shortcut number two is right here. Little ramp cut, it leads directly into a mini turbo where you can cut that corner and then shortcut number four, hold your mini turbo and release. And you get so much speed. Look at this, this guides right into the finish line and the entire track is a shortcut on 200cc. What a great track. You can actually skip the platform where the shortcut is, where the landing spot is all together by catapulting all the way to the end. It's really awesome and look at that, you can land perfectly for the next corner. Most of the time what people are doing on this track in shortcut montages is they're using their, their uh, what's it called? They're using their main turbo right there and skipping this corner. And that is a cool idea for a shortcut, but I think because it puts you in a little bit of off-road, it's really not worth it. So um, just to show it off one more time, the one I'm talking about is right here. Hopefully I don't fall off again. Like that, see? and. It slows you down too much hitting the grass, so I don't think that one's faster. The one I demonstrated seems to be more practical. This next one's great if you have like triple mushrooms or a golden. Utilizes the anti-gravity mechanic, which is really cool. I wish more shortcuts had something like this. And afterwards you're able to do the grass shortcut. So you can combine two shortcuts and then I have two gold mushrooms right now, so we're gonna literally make the entire track a shortcut which is amazing. <laughs> there, we did it. <laughs> Two gold mushrooms, an entire lap shortcut. Off-road adventuring. So this next one on donut planes, you need to make sure that you get an orange main turbo as you enter the water, and then 
cut that entire corner off while maintaining your second orange mini turbo and then get out of the underwater to release your third orange mini turbo. And you can even do a little uh, shortcut here at the end if you don't want to go around the corner. But I think it's faster just to go around the corner unless the mole is there. Then you can trick off the mole and cut the uh, grass off without having to hit it. This next one is on dry dry desert. You need an orange mini turbo. So you release it and you hop, hop, hop. Use your mushroom, use your second mushroom, start a drift, use your third mushroom, and then release your mini turbo, and then hop off this pillar, and that leads you perfectly into the corner leading up to the uh, quicksand. So it's a massive shortcut, it cuts off like a third of the lap, and you only need three mushrooms, which is ridiculous. And then uh, obviously, you can do it shroomless as well, just by skipping this corner here. But the triple shroom shortcut is much more exciting, so I figured I'd show that one off. This next one is great if you have just one mushroom. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna release your meat turbo and then head over for the ramp. And instead of going for the second glider ramp, use your one mushroom in order to cut that corner. Then hold the super meat turbo and release it when you hit the off-road and do the same thing for the orange meat turbo you'll get as you cut through the cheese. And it is like four shortcuts in one, it's ridiculous and it is not that difficult to do, which is the beauty of it. This next one's on Rainbow Road, and it is the exact same as how you do it on 150cc. However, on 200cc, it is even easier because you can cut the off-road and maintain more of your speed. So just go off this, release your main turbo, and voila. Here's one on High Roll Circuit that is rather simple. However, it's extremely practical and you can do this every single lap and I highly recommend you do do it every single lap when you're playing this course. Just cut that corner like that and it's useful on 150cc, it's useful on 200cc, but it's a big corner cut and it's trimless and when things are trimless, you can do them every single lap. I'm actually not sure if this is faster or not, but I see it in a lot of videos. You can uh, do a little path switch and then afterwards, you can go for the shroomless shortcut, and as you can see, you can hop out of it pretty easily when you have a lot of coins, and cut the corner, through the donut, trick off the ramp, gain back your speed. Okay, and that brings us to the end of the video. This last one is on Ice Ice Outpost. It's a little bit of a risky shortcut, but I think it's extremely important that you know it, because you can do it every single lap, and if you have 10 coins, it's not that difficult. All you have to do is trick and make sure you hit the far left part of the ramp. Okay, and there's also one at the end here. And the thing is with this one is I really don't think this one saves too much time on 200cc because you have to slow down quite a bit to do it. So the first one is much more useful and Ice, Ice, Ice Outpost is definitely a track where you can break away. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you'd like to see a 150cc version. The shortcuts are definitely harder on 150cc than 200 in this game. So let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments or if you'd like to see any online gameplay from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. All right, thank you for watching. As always, enjoy Funky Kong dancing and peace.